total income was 89,000 rands. We are encouraged. Hi guys, welcome to the village. My name is Bonnie. I create content around careers, education with a dose of reality check. Today, guys, I want to prove to you that sometimes it's who you work for. It's not what you are doing. <laughs> it's who you work for. I know it's hard to believe that there are people in IT support who, who get paid uh, really well. <laughs> it's hard, but you soon you're going to find out. Now, let's start with this IT support uh, technician. And see what's cooking here. This one has two years of work experience. Basic salary twenty seven thousand one hundred and seventy three. You see, so bad. <laughs> we always hear that IT support people are earning ten thousand. Look at this with two years of work experience. Pays you in four point one pension five hundred and sixty seven. You are four hundred and seventy seven. Health insurance two hundred and eighty four. Um, yeah, guys, it's not bad. Uh, Total deductions five thousand two hundred and twenty eight, and then a pay of twenty one thousand nine hundred and forty five, and then uh, this one is a junior technician in a wifi company. So you see, there is a big difference now. This is a small company. If it's a wifi company, obviously, guys, <laughs> it's a small company. Sometimes uh, some people will find that they work for a big bank, but they are not. They are subcontractors. I think that's where the danger is for most people for most people but I'm going to show you how much other IT technicians that are hired directly by companies how much they're earning so let's see this one uh, we're not expecting much from it they have a diploma in IT basic salary 9368 over time 1.6 over time 2.1 Total earnings 13,000 rands, deductions 1.6, and then a pay of 11,443. <sighs> okay, now let's look at this one. They shared three of their salaries, and they've always been, I don't know, what have a about subcontracts. They've been working for the big companies, <laughs> for the big uh, financial uh, services companies. Let's start with this one from 2019. Okay, they have a diploma. Let me just tell you, they have a, a BTEC, IT, and then four certifications, two times Microsoft, one times AWS, and then one times IS, ISC. Um, yeah, so I've since left and joined another one in Cape Town. Uh, yeah, right. Now let's see in 2019, we have a salary in 2019 and then another one in 2023 and then another one, the recent one. Boy, you must have been really good at school, you know. This is a big, like one of those private banks. Cash component, okay, I'll tell you because it doesn't work there anymore. It's invest tech. <laughs> Cash component nineteen thousand four hundred and thirty one leave and encashment uh, five thousand nine hundred and nine uh, five thousand nine hundred and ninety nine total earnings twenty five thousand four hundred and thirty total deductions six thousand five hundred and twenty six and a pay of eighteen thousand nine hundred rands. Remember this was when they were fresh from school. They were fresh from school. That salary was good, guys. Because we know what IT support is famous for. All right. Now, they moved. Cash component, 30,000 rands. <laughs> Medical aid, 3.8. Disability cover, 200 rands. Group life, 97 rands. Uh, medical aid, vitality, 399. Pension fund, 3.2. Total cost to company, 37,800 rands. <laughs> Guys, I'm not going to tell you this one, <laughs> but they don't work here anymore. Uh, still financial services. Okay. Pays we earn 5,668. Total earnings 30,800. Total deductions 5,845. Uh, what's the net pay? But anyway, nonetheless, latest um, income now. This is now in... Uh, it's not latest actually. They've left this company and go, went to another one. 
basic salary 49,297 uh tax allowance 118 deductions 10,751 okay i don't see the net pay guys um but they say they've moved from Johannesburg to Cape Town and their package there is 600k per annum right so two things that I learned from this person just looking at his salary progression that boy was not wasting time <laughs> chilling in one company <laughs> that boy wasted no time two years max he was gone that's one two he did not just chill with his BTEC in IT. He got certified. He got certified. So that's where it's at. Um, I don't know why he called himself IT support. But anyway, that's what he said. Okay, he calls himself IT service desk uh, person. Okay. Um, yeah, guys. <laughs> That's where it ends. <laughs> you don't stay too long. And you do what? You get certified. You don't just relax. <laughs> Tell me what you think, guys, about the salary. Uh, I'm happy, you know. Uh, the future looks good. The future looks good. Now, let's look at this senior IT help desk. This one, similar job or same job, but this one is senior. Uh, don't have too much expectations on this one. Guys, please don't forget to like and share the video with someone that might need it this one has a higher certificate in information technology uh system support and qf5 comtia a plus comtia n plus and comtia security plus right okay big pay 4.8 basic salary fifteen thousand. Okay, let me see where they work. Oh no, they work for a small company. I, I can see. Um, fixed shift allowance 1.5, public holiday 2.7, Sunday support 2.7, transport allowance 150, transport allowance black back pay 2.242, total earnings 27,875.00. Side eye, side eye, tax paid 3000 UIF 177, uh, total deductions 3.8, net pay of 24,063 rands. They are senior, get guys, by the way, very senior. Side eye, now let's go to this network engineer. But guys, you know what? With IT support, as I've mentioned earlier, oh, I don't know if I've mentioned it already or not. But anyway, I've seen people and you've also seen them if you watch this channel uh, with the interviews. Most people who are in cloud and in cybersecurity, this is where they started. So don't be discouraged. Just get what? Get certified. And then you move up. You know, you move up. It's just a way to get started. That's it. If you have your degree or you have your, your diploma, that's okay. Get there and then you get certified. And don't stay too long in one company. Don't stay too long in one company. Um, so let's go to this uh, network engineer. Even people who like do like DevOps, that's where they started, most of them. You know, and this is why for my get into tech guide, I don't like talking about cyber security. A lot of people, they want cyber security, but I don't like talking about it because I just feel like it's one of those things, the technical side of cyber security, whereby you need IT background. You need to have started from the bottom. You know, you can't protect an infrastructure that you are not familiar with unless you are going the non-technical route of cyber security. And I haven't interviewed someone in that space. Like, it's not something that I'm familiar with. So this is why cyber security is not included in the Get Into Tech Guide. But we have uh, cloud engineering, of which today, tonight, <laughs> we have a cloud engineer. 
uh, that is popping in to have a chat with us for one to 90 minutes. If you want to find out more about that, check the description box about the guide. Okay. But anyway, let's go to this network engineer. Seven years of work experience, CCNA certification, Cisco IT specialist, CCNA certificate. Basic salary 17,622, mobile allowance 450, total earnings 18,000, pays you N 1.9, uh, total deductions 2,216, and a pay of 15,855. Side I. Rate per hour is 134. Able. I was not looking at this properly, but now I see this company. <laughs> Get a side eye to them. Because <laughs> I know them. <laughs> Yo, guys, the things I see here. <laughs> But do not be discouraged if this is your vibe because now, now I am going to share with you someone that will encourage you as someone who aspires to be in network engineering. Guys, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe guys. We've hit 80,000 subscribers. Imagine I have so much to share with you when we hit 100,000. Okay, but let's go to this network engineer. Highly, highly paid network engineer Aglalola. they don't have a degree right uh, but they have ccna ccna ccnp with special exam rns nse4 up until nse7 firewall architecture they also have it ilv4 guys i've never seen these things in my life <laughs> the only one i know is cc and A, let me just Google quickly this ITIL V4. What is this? Okay, ITIL4 is a framework for IT service management that provides a flexible and adaptable approach to managing IT services, aligning them with business needs and focusing on value and customer experience. Let's see the cost of this certification. Side I, but okay. In most cases, companies will pay for this. You know, I don't think it will come from your pocket. You know, uh, so the a foundation exam, when including training courses, typically cost between twelve thousand nine hundred and thirty-seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-five. <laughs> what a messy life! But you know what? <laughs> Let's say Talk IT has this course. Uh, let's say, guys, uh, Talk IT offers a bootcamp with the exam fee for for, for 12,900. Okay. And then the Knowledge Academy offers a two day course for 37,995. But, guys, I'm not worried about these things. Very companies would pay for these things. Hi, Bo. Cash value 84,000 rands. Standby allowance 5,000. Why you need 5,000 rands. Employee tax 26,680. UIF 177. Skills development 00. Oh no, employer 800. Oh, the, the employer is paying 890. Okay. So, total deductions 26,857. Net pay of 61,142. Total income was 89,000 rands. We are encouraged. Say what you want to say. Tina, we are encouraged, guys. We are encouraged. Thank you so much for sharing, you know, because, guys, I do believe even with IT support space or network engineering, I'm not familiar with it, but... Thanks for sharing this because now I have some information about it and we can encourage more people 
you know not for people to be sitting like this <laughs> and looking at cloud <laughs> engineers and software engineers like yo <laughs> like they have something to be embarrassed about no guys this is good this is good and i uh hopefully more network uh, engineers can come through with their payslips and also contact me for an interview you know the interviews are coming back guys just as i was taking a break but the interviews are coming back and i'll be delighted to have a network engineer otherwise guys i will see you tonight if you are part of our get into tech guide community if you'd like to know more about that check the description box and get banana on wednesday bye